a different type of um, challenge or like self-help type challenge. Like you got the no-fap challenges that are pretty popular. But um, when, here's one thing you don't really hear about, and that would be what I like to call hard mode sobriety. And so you'll hear people talk about like, I have my three year sobriety coin, you know, or whatever. And it's like, as they're holding like a beer or as they're holding like a, a cigarette or something like that, <laughs> or you'll just hear about people talking about, oh, oh, I'm sober. Oh, I'm sober. As they're drinking like multiple energy drinks per day, or they're on like some sort of prescription pill or something like that. It's just like, dude, you're not sober. You're not, you're not sober. So what I like to, so I actually haven't really almost met anyone who does hard mode sobriety, uh, which is of course no porn because porn is very like drug like experience with just the massive dopamine release that is caused by it. Um, I I include in mine um, semen retention as well. So you're doing you're doing a you're doing a thirty day no fap with no porn as well. But then on top of all this complete sobriety from all drugs and alcohol, including caffeine, including Tylenol, including ibuprofen, including prescriptions, including NyQuil. Did I already say NyQuil? I'm not sure. But when I say sobriety, I mean sobriety. I mean, you don't like, and you should be limiting your sugar too. You can't just start just pounding cake and cookies and stuff all day too. Just pounding sugar drinks and stuff like that. Like, so I also include uh, no soda in this as well. So you're talking no ejaculation, no porn, no soda, limited sugar, and then no drugs and alcohol, no NyQuil, no ibuprofen, no Tylenol, nothing. So it's like you get a headache, sorry, you're going to have to deal with it. You can't fall asleep one night, sorry, you ain't sleeping that night, I guess. Like, oh, you're a little bit sick, like, sorry, like, I don't know what to tell you. It's just you and your brain. It's just you and your brain for a month. And so that's what I'm doing is all February. Um, and then I have a buddy who's also doing February as well. The first few days here in February have been pretty, um, were pretty tricky. I definitely got some headaches, um, for sure. And then sleep, sleeping has been tough. I've been kind of like, my sleep schedule has been affected a little bit. One thing I've noticed when I've done these hard mode sobriety challenges is dreaming is, my dreams become way more intense and my dreams become way more like kind of colorful and like trippy. And I have more lucid dreaming and I like remember my dreams and stuff like that. Um, not sure what that's about, but anyway, that's just a quick update on uh, my 30 day hard mode sobriety challenge.